And have we determined yet that, uh... <clears throat> is that? that we're not mosquito. going to die when we leave? You do just mosquito. Oh, I guess, I guess we do, because you, uh... You have a mosquito. The mosquito hawk or something? I've already removed the curses on us. Yeah. As for the one, as for Elvis, we can only just wait a day. And I'm confident that there's, there's really no way to... I don't think that it's going to kill us, kill anyone if they leave. I think the curse, it's made in a way that can be open, that's open to interpretation. And I interpret it as being, if you enter, you will be susceptible to damage and the guardians will kill you. Perhaps. Um... It's hard to know with magic, though. So we, uh, we won't, uh... We aren't, we aren't going to wake, uh, King of Drarys at all, huh? Nope. <laughs> it does seem this is stupid. wise. I think that this goes against everything that we're trying to do. Waking him up or not waking him up? Not waking him up. If we, if you want to strategize a way to wake him up, then we can make a plan. But we're not going to rush in with that one. No, of course not. We'll need to be heavily prepared. This with that many update. coffins, there's no way we're going to take that, take him on. I could potentially seal him inside his own coffin, but we'll still have to take care of the many, many guardians. So one, two, three, four, five, there's seven. There's, uh, there's 11 in there. There are some in the back as well. Uh, no, but I, I could see nine and extrapolate that there are two, two on the other side. Um, I mean, that's fine. If I can... mm. Sure. But we need to be very sure. We need to use every resource that we have available. I've seen many a battle go wrong when we, when you presume that you are prepared when you are not. I suggest tomorrow, we'll take a week, how about that, a week or so, to fully, well, that is, uh, What can you do in a week that you can't do in a day? Yeah, that is a good point. I'm mainly concerned with testing out all of my abilities, all of our abilities, I think we should workshop to see what we are capable of. I would like to cast a daylight spell. It is po It could possibly create a light powerful enough to impose a environment that would impose disadvantage upon undead creatures, but I'm not sure. I don't think that that's how that spell works. I think there's could another you? spell that does that. I think there's a level 5 spell that my rations are running low. We should head back, regroup, yeah, find some place else to do it. Elvis has plenty of rations. But what makes you think that it will not work? Um, uh, My knowledge of the player's handbook. Another, yeah, it's, it's a third level spell, man. Yeah, I know. It's, it's dumb. It's a bad spell. God. Why would you make a spell that... That, uh, that spell slot, that's just a glorified torch. Yeah. Well, no, it there dispels, is. It dispels magical darkness. Yeah, but shouldn't light do that? No. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, which one of these spells uh, does that? Is the uh, imposes disadvantage? Uh, figure that out. Isn't that a channel divinity thing? Because I know the light domain for our channel to fit in the does damage. I don't know if it disadvantages though. Anyways, um, dawn. That's the one you're thinking of. Dawn, light, whatever. It's the same thing. Well, so, this one's a spell. So let's start out brainstorming, trying to figure out if we can fight Indraris or not. Presuming that he's going to be immediately hostile. Um, where 
yeah, do we think so, the yeah. best place to fight him would be? Uh, sorry, just to clarify, Dawn specifically says this light is sunlight. The spell does not say that this light is sunlight. It doesn't count as sunlight. Okay. That's what if we smash the though. giant thing on top of the pyramid? Still that diamond, boys. Outside the room, we need to fight him where he has to enter my silenced area so he cannot cast spells at us. What if we apply a silence to an arrow and then shoot it at him? Or, I mean, but, like, what I'm saying is, would we, do we want to engage him in this room that we are currently in? And you could silence the room? Do you want to engage him in a tight he won't hallway? Make it. I don't think we'll make it that far back. He's not so unwise to chase us like some simple creature. So perhaps, but would he stay back and his mummies follow us? Do you think he, would... he, he has a way to lock us in? You'd likely apply a strategy that we did not think of. Why? Some... Well, then let's try to think of all the possible strategies. He's literally He's an dead intelligent for like wizard. Years. The yes, doors close but... behind us. Uh, I mean. Listen, I mean, I, don't, I just want to play devil's advocate. If he could close the doors behind us, and he's an intelligent wizard, why didn't he put his tomb in the first room? And as soon as we walked in, he wakes up, closes the door behind us, and kills us. Vanity. Um, complacency. Then, Just then because he, you shouldn't... The same, argument, the same argument goes for he doesn't have a spell to close the door because he's vacant and complacent. You're assuming that that is something that he could do passively and not something that he will do, be able to do later actively. Yes. Which is just as valid as an assumption as the other way around. But one assumption will get us killed. Well, I could also assume that he, as soon as he wakes up, he drains all life in the world and every living thing dies. That's also an assumption. Elvis is very correct there. I mean, we have, to, we have to think about things that we've seen already that he's been able to do through his minions. And extrapolate what he can do from that. I suppose. But well, I mean, he could reapply the curse to us all when he it's wakes up. Have, to have a book about this guy. Yeah, that is true. That's one possibility. If we only we had a book giant about diamond. him. If <laughs> only we had a book about him. If only the book actually had strategies that he would employ. Well, so reading into it three. might tell us some of the magics that I've, I've he read the whole book. researched and understood, and that I've he might employ. I think, I don't think, I don't know. I, Elvis has read it, and it does not seem that it was a play by a playbook, but rather a vanity <laughs> piece. No, it was a historian much after he died talking about how he was buried. Not an autobiography, but a biography. <clears throat> and a bias one, I'd and it sure. And it ha said nothing about his research no, other no. than that he, he researched know one of, forever? Have you heard of his greatest feat? Yes. No, it's still that. Then you know how powerful he is. Sure, but and if then that's the argument... Remind me again... Just how powerful everything in this desert is. I'm gonna go home. How he, with the help of five other, of four others, found a creature of near godlike power. I don't or stole. Oh, damn. There are Christmas fighting six. words. Six. <laughs> it is true. Yeah, I don't if, that powerful. If, it, I mean, it's true. If Indrari's was that powerful he would be awake right this moment he would never have laid to rest listen i'm just saying if you're assuming that andras is strong because he dealt with tantalus why could you not assume that tantalus is weak because he was dealt with by the, the, the logic carries uh hey Hila. Mm -hmm. is it possible that i know the order of power within the group 
if not the names, then just the order of the of the wizard's power. What is my scouter say? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Is it, are you asking if you have a scouter for their power level? Uh, kind of. Like I know Tantalus is probably the strongest of them all, but he was the leader oh, of the group. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It's all relative. It's all relative. I will provide you with a list of all the names. I meant to do that. I know a couple of them. I know like three, but there's at least one or two more. Three is more than a couple. Bastard. Uh, right. It's a couple plus one that I know. Um, but you know that they are pretty, or at least they were pretty damn powerful wizards because they imprisoned your patron, and your patron is a dragon lich? Something like that. You know, uh, probably more powerful because he's an undying pact patron. Yeah, some sort of... Shit face powerful creature not yeah, quite him, you're not quite it's not quite godlike but it's it's pretty powerful you, you know what else is really powerful this uh this undead being of the lake which absorbs all life in the desert and creates a fake lake around it i'm telling you steal this giant diamond you, you know what happened to that thing i shot it with an arrow in the face and it died yeah what is what happens if it's immune and I'll die. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, we only have a limited set of tools. If we're assuming that in every encounter our tools will not work, then we might as well stop. Well, let's not. Let's. Uh, it seems like we're arguing of whether to do it or not. So let's just argue of for what our actions should be to achieve our goals. What can we do? to ensure that we can take down this. Well, I mean, that's precisely what I've already said. And we can start by thinking about where we would want to fight him, how we want to start such an encounter. We send okay. someone in invisible to break the barrier. If that barrier broken wakes up all the mummies at once, then we know that. If it also wakes up Andreas, <laughs> then we know that. If it doesn't, then the mummies will wake up, presumably not able to see anything, and just walk around. Then at which up. point, we can pew pew them from a distance. Could we possibly? We can, we can send the invisible servant in there. Right Could we there. dispel the barrier? Are you absolutely sure that it's not able to be uh, disabled? Um, the diamond. I like, believe you know. that. I believe that if you can disable it, you can only disable it for a period of time. That could be enough time. I could cast a uh, spell upon their sarcophagi to trap them inside a portion, at least four. That's. Uh... But why though? So we don't have to fight them currently at the same time. Theoretically, we won't have to do that anyway, because we'll be kiting them. But we'll have to kite less, and we can go back to them. Yes, I know. I guess. Alternatively, I could also meld into the wall, possibly, and go beyond the barrier. As soon as you pop on the other side, I think. The diamond. We don't know how the magic works. It could activate as long as someone's inside it. Hey, hey, Fabio, it's not. Diamond, is it diamond magic? Is it? We don't know. Take it out. You don't know if it's focusing its power. <laughs> I mean, idea. honestly, like, it could be, but I I presume it was very large, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Fabio, and how are we going to get it down? down? We're just going to roll it down. Fabio, it we'll down. We'll figure it something out. I want that fucking diamond. Can have the diamond. It just uh, uh What if we send Fabio up there with a pickaxe and just similar a diamond of that size is of similar worth to whatever magic item that dude has in his fucking bed. Yeah, but the diamond's easier. <laughs> we could do we could do the diamond at the end of the day as a way to expand our 
<laughs> That's the excuse my mom used. <laughs> you, have to, you have to fly up the pyramid. Then you have to wrestle the diamond out of its resting position. That might take more than an hour. You start falling. You cast fly on yourself again. So you fly up back to the diamond. Continue you can to only cast it once per day. That might also take more than an hour. So, yes, it might be easy. It also might be hard and certain death. What if we shatter um, the diamond? Um, hey, uh... Diamonds. It's big enough to where the pieces will be valuable as well. They're still diamonds. <laughs> sure. I guess you cast fly, and then you fall, and then you levitate, and you still can't get it out. So you fall again. <laughs> I put levitate on the diamond. That's not a target. It is the Fabio. What? You can't target an animate object suddenly? Sure. It's oh, well, I guess one you can. creature or object yeah. of your choice. Yes. That's yeah. You target, right. the, you target the diamond. It sure. Go ahead and try it. As soon as it hits whatever is holding it in place, and then it just doink, doink. shatter the diamond. It's my I don't think that shatter shoot. works. I think I mean, we established that shatter doesn't actually explode things when I died to TNT. But it's like okay, a crystal. So mindset. one, you use a pickaxe. And two, are we really debating whether we try to steal the diamond off the top of this thing? Like, that is the least of my worries. I mean, we're it, that is a it. much taller task. That's yeah. a much, much taller task. We don't taller. need to argue if we're going to get the diamond. We're going to get the diamond. It's just a matter of when, at the end of the day, probably. It's a matter of putting enough... And what we're going to do before of it. ...to level it until the diamond is at our level. Or just build a tall enough pile of sand, which is easier. We're probably going to have to break the diamond, which we should do anyways, because who's going to buy a diamond that big? I can fly up there and levitate it down. Oh my god, alright, shut the hell up, Fabio. <laughs> okay, back back to the king. <laughs> back to San Andreas. <laughs> it's Arduino. Um, so, uh... Send an invisible servant in there. Mommy's king weekend. Arduino. If, if we could take him outside, we should. If we, if we could possibly take him outside, we should, but we we're probably not going to have it be able to do that, so... Yeah. What I mean, I do? honestly think that the most ideal place to fight them is right here, where we can back into the sunlight if we have to. Yeah. Sure. My concern with that is, honestly, if he shuts the door behind us. <laughs> yes. Every I... turn, we can move... Oh, okay. The cheap bastard. Every turn... <laughs> can move 30 feet. Every turn, the mummies can move 20 feet. If we make sure to move every turn and attack, we kite the mummies out. We tried cutting them before and things went wrong that we did not anticipate. No, no we didn't. Okay. We didn't try to cut them before. Yeah, Rule number one, though. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> That's us not kiting them. If so we engage if them, gets... uh -huh. somebody invisible triggers them. The servant. By themselves, sure. The servant just triggers case, them. Just in case it's like a dispel. <laughs> the party starts in this hallway above us. No further up. We don't want to get attacked from behind. Uh, I don't believe the servant can go up that far. Well, yeah. I mean, then it's going to have to be one of you guys invisible. You're not taking Ronnie. You go up there, <laughs> you named invisible. It. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Fairy? Is it Taco Fairy? Oh, yeah. No. Taco Fairy. He's oh, got If you had true sight, it would actually be Taco Fairy. <laughs> alright, alright. Just plain with or without the dentures, yeah. I'm gonna cast a minor illusion, and I'm gonna create a uh, diagram of what this whole place is. Okay. We have a thing, a thing. I'm ignoring the side rooms because, to be honest, Oh god, this looks suspiciously like the female <laughs> Except it turns the opposite way, it's alright. It's alright. It? Totally safe. Safe for work, it turns the opposite direction. Is this the, uh... And the these robot are the fallopian ovaries? tubes. <laughs> these are the mummy ovaries. Return the diamond. So this is a silent <laughs> image, but it can move. 
So on it, I'm going to start drawing shit. If sure. you start over here, this room, yes, they can theoretically move all the way around and back us, but if we make sure to move every 60 seconds, <laughs> this route is longer than this route, which would allow us to still kite. Therefore, we can start right there and kite them all the way around. I mean... Like, I completely agree with you, but there's nothing to say that that is going, that it will go exactly as planned. Nothing ever goes exactly as planned. What if one of the ones we just stand still and wait for us to loop around? Then, then we move out. I honestly think that our best bet is send somebody in alone to trigger it here. And then the rest of the party is already back here. That person oh. triggers it and doubles back around to the party. It's me, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you're invisible, they don't see you, right? So you it's have you. a second. You I trigger it, it, they don't if... come out. They can't. Great. They can't do that. I could. No, they can't. You think you're quiet enough? Yeah, what I need to be quiet? Yes, invisibility makes you invisible. Also, I'm plenty fast. I don't even have to be invisible. <laughs> how how fast, fast can you turn in six seconds? <laughs> About uh, 40 feet. No. So 40 feet times two, because you can take a dash in. 80 feet? Yeah, I can move 40 feet faster than that. Okay. <laughs> Rogue, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, honestly we send somebody an invisible to trigger it let's stop saying somebody I, I'm freaking I, I, it can be Fabio for all I fucking care it's, it won't I, be me but it can be I Fabio can for all I care <laughs> I'm I not doing it Fabio will do it no I can I, <laughs> I can give you extra protection against undead there's a 0.0, .0 Repeating chance Fabio goes in there alone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Forgets the plan and just engages solo. <laughs> Kneels before King Indraris and then is just suddenly <laughs> empowered. I pledge allegiance to the king. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess what this means is we have to sleep a day so you can. Yes, that's no matter what. Alright, let's do that. Um, okay. But. Let's continue this one. Put that shit back up there. Draw, redraw that. Okay. So, oh my God. we're 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 talking this through because no plan has ever happened ever, and I yeah. want to make sure that you guys follow the plan. I have a question. <laughs> because I'm gonna like just like thunder step out of here. The shit, anything goes south. So, I have Elvis. A question. Okay, go ahead. Where am I going to cast the silence in this room? It's only 20 feet range. And it, if he can just see us from the very end. It's 20 feet range, or it's... Like, you can only throw it 20 feet? Or is it a 20 feet radius? Is what you're saying. I can throw it 120... 20, I can throw it 120 feet, but its radius is only a 20 foot sphere. Okay. Well... Keep in so, mind, you have to concentrate on it as well. Okay. So if... Actually... You don't? You say you don't. Doesn't say I have to. Mine says I have to. Oh, wait, yes, it does. Never mind, fuck. So if Elvis goes up here and triggers it and runs back, and the whole party is waiting right here in that entrance and waits for it we can get an attack off when anything rounds the corner and then the whole party can move backwards to that doorway 
<laughs> and again, as soon as anything um, rounds the corner, I attack. Think you're, I think you're, you're understanding the diagram. This room is the one we're in. That's the one we're in right now, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, sorry. I thought that so, you meant run out of the pyramid. Okay. No. So then we attack in that hallway. Now we can either try to hold that choke, that hallway there, but then our escape route's much harder. We can attack them in that hallway all we want. We can, you could silence in that hallway then and silence everybody in the hall. Or we can then again fall back and go up these stairs and, and try to get, you know, shots as they move through the room. And then finally hold this choke here at the doorway. And then if we have to, we can fall back into the sunlight. And presumably they won't enter the sunlight. Or presumably they'll mass death grip us all inside and just murder us. Or they'll just come out into the sunlight and... and we all know. We all can presume what's sure. going to happen then. Here's one thing. <clears throat> Why are we not all up here? Because because that's a poor engagement spot. Fabio yeah. doesn't want to die. No, no, hear me out. Why is it a poor engagement spot? Because we can always get attacked from behind. No, we can't. Because the mummies are. I understand that we can run faster than the mummies, and they're most likely to go directly to us. But things never go according to plan. We can Take never. Like right, we have, to, we have to minimize us. our risk here, and the th risk reward of us all starting here. No, there. This is, this is already a huge risk. Adding any more risk to it equals no reward. We have to minimize it as much as we possibly can. I Getting flanked is not an option. Yeah. Now, I'm no war leader or you know, battle-hardened, you know, commander, but I understand being flanked is not a good thing. And we want to also be... What I'm saying is it is impossible. But okay. it's not impossible to be flanked. What if we it's get not. tripped up? What if they dash around? We can't dash while we attack. They can dash. So they can move 40 feet versus my 25 feet around. It's not going to happen. They're going to beat me every time. They'll beat me to that corner. And then I will die. He's also assumed that it would be favorable for them to be, for us to be there, because the wizard being on, on jars could cast possibly a fireball into the midst of us. Alright, let's do it. Great thing. Can we fast forward? Yeah. Well, for the end of the day, uh, uh, anyone else? Yeah, I mean, Nigel has a good point there, though. We may not want to risk being all grouped up either. Do we want to only engage in this room that we're in now and stay spread out? Do we only want to engage from here back? And we can half of us here spread out. Yeah, us here. Exactly. Not really, because we won't be able to get enough damage into the mummies and the kite. But, uh, if we fight, if we fight them here, there's no way King Androids is going to be able to cast a spell in this area, unless he like moves all the way up here. Which he can do. Yep, but that takes time. Sure. Whatever. I mean, these are just five foot races. So, do we just fight on this landing that you and I are standing on now? I think we should start fighting over here. And then move backwards. Sorry. Because oh, no reason in the hallway? Yes. Take a pie shot. Duck behind the corner. Yeah, take take soon as... a four punch up. Yeah, exactly. Oh. We can we can hold action, 
They come around the corner, we attack the very first thing we see. Then we back up to this hallway here, this doorway. And the second anybody comes into line of sight, pop shot, and then disappear around the corner again. We should consider moving the urns on the sides where we'll be positioned so they can't attack us from below and they'll have, and they'll have to either climb up or take the stairs. Uh, I don't believe that will do anything. I think the mummies can just move in the space of the urn. The urn does not occupy all of the five foot cube. Then move something else. I don't, I don't think there's anything to I mean, unless we can stack these sarcophagi up there, they're very heavy. I doubt we can do. In eight hours' time, we could. Maybe. I don't think I don't think it's a time issue so much as we can't lift them off the ground issue. Yeah, we can even slide them, push them maybe. Maybe. I mean, if at we least push, the two like, bottom ones. We push like these ones over here, right here onto this area. Yeah, we can try and do that. I'm gonna. Start wasting time so we can go to sleep. If um, so if we yeah, do that, let's just... we do all that and we uh, um, God damn it. um, if we if we do all that and we get around that corner, we can split. Right? Is that what we want to do? Sure. Here's the other thing, though. These mummies, every time it's gotten hairy for them, I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start counting them. And as soon as I go around a corner, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, and that's a possibility even if we kite them. They could just give up and we wouldn't have. We lose entirely the strategy of, the, of movement. But if they're triggered, they're triggered. They're not gonna go back. They're not gonna go back to sleep. Sure. You know? Doesn't, doesn't change the fact. Not... And Andreas adds a <clears throat> deeper complication to any type of strategy that requires lots of movement because we don't, even if we silence him, we don't know what other spells he could possibly employ or what he'll do in the meantime. Yeah, right. Just the less actions he can take, the better. We don't even know that he can cast spells. True. But He's a we wizard. should presume it. He was. Sure, but I'm sure that that mummy over there was a carpenter. Doesn't mean that that mummy can make wood spells. Morass can cast spells. And he is not nearly as powerful as uh, Andrar's. That doesn't, that doesn't equate to all this. Mm, and it does. He's, uh... Right now, you're just. I feel like you're just trying to argue. Elvis, but I mean, there's certain things that we can extrapolate from what we know. Yeah, yeah. sure. I'm just saying that, like, if we're getting to a point of the argument where Andraris can fuck every strategy because we don't know what he does, we can't say that because he can also very well just not do anything. We're not saying uh, every strategy, we're saying this particular strategy, That's and we're trying strategy. to plan around. No, it's we like uh, Clark said. We could go to a position that's more favorable to us, which is right here. Minimize, yeah, what he can do to us. Sure, if you want to do that. We could also possibly have you activate the pit traps, and we could take shots at them. The, me activating the pit traps involves me falling. I can't activate them. You, you cut out there. I can't not. I can't activate them and fall. Even if you're flying. I don't think I was flying anywhere. I think you deactivated them all anyway. So it doesn't. Uh, yeah. You can't use. Wasn't you can't use your skills to activate them uh, artificially. Not really. Hmm. We try to do that with. Uh... Uh, Stick or something. Yeah. It's a different mechanism, right? Okay. Hmm. Is that it? I suppose so. 
and let's get to some sleep and prepare. Hey, John, could you move me onto the map? I'm having a hard time. I actually removed myself from the map. I'm having a hard time getting back. What the hell is going on? Oops. I moved myself out of the universe. How, how did you even get do that? <laughs> you should be able, allowed, be yeah. able to do that. I was able to drag myself back onto the game board, but only like out there in the midst of nowhere. <laughs> Out of bounds. How'd you even figure that out? Well, I accidentally deleted myself and I tried to drag myself back on. Uh, X. Without, so I had no idea where it was, so. You were able to drag yourself out of the bounds? Yeah. That seems like an oversight Yeah. from Roll20. Let me see if I can do it again. If yeah, I, I, if, can just, I can just plonk the character anywhere. That's a serious problem. Yeah. Yeah. But like now, now that I've done that, I can't move myself back in, you know. Like, but well, I can yeah, go. I can go over here onto the game board. Yeah, don't do that. No, I'm not gonna. But I can't. Yeah. Because I have shit off the map. That's like super problematic. Yeah. Oh no. So. GM layer for everything. I guess. Get wrecked, GM layer. You mean nothing to me. Eat shit. Anyways. For the most part, I do, but I have. I have just some things that I'm not even going to talk about. So Elvis, do you want to get Can that time? spells? No. <clears throat> sure. It's a valuable diamond. No, not, not really. So, you know what else is valuable? The, the stone quantity that makes up this entire pyramid. Doesn't mean I'm going to try and lift the whole pyramid and sell it off. Hey, we can lift the stone, though. You know what else is valuable? Elvis's kidneys. <laughs> yeah. So I'll probably sell this next time we're in town. Yeah, yeah. I need his brains. Fabio is probably not using those, actually. It'd probably be worth more. <laughs> I think Fabio's are destroyed. <laughs> They're overtaxed as it is. Yeah. So... While while we're waiting to take the long rest, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to get everyone to help out to move the coffins by pushing them if I can. Uh, I'd like to go on the record and say, I'm going to try and do what now? I'm not gonna try and push the sarcophagi around. I mean, but why though? Because I'm setting up traps. Because he's he's trying to tell us our plan is bad. No, I'm trying to not destroy sarcophagi. <laughs> And it's okay. No, shit. I'm chaotic. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, hey, what's, the value? what's the value in these sarcophagi, though? Uh, they're to scale on the map. So, they're quite large. Five so, squares. with everyone's help, can I do it? With our powers combined. I mean, I'll try to help. We roll a I'll combined can. strength roll or something. Sure. Athletics? Strength? What? Uh, just a strength check. I don't think athletics applies to just tugging on this thing. Pushing, but yeah. Well, which one are you doing? Uh, Pushing, because it's easier, isn't it? I mean, Pushing's but it depends easier. on the sarcophagus. If it's the one in here, you're going to have to pull it out. You can't. There's no way to... Oh, I'm not, I'm not talking about these ones on the top. I'm talking about... Uh, uh, these two. Okay. Sure. Uh, guidance. You have one D four. Okay. Wait. What Three. Are we what are we two, trying to do with those two? We're pushing them to the left and right so that they block where we stand when we're gonna fight them. Fight the mummies. So I don't think. I mean that, that itself is anyone has stopped through anything. Here. So if I you mean, move to block it, over here, putting them, putting something there is what we're gonna want, or putting something on top of them. But then, we're from an have... in-game perspective, this is a five-foot climb, and we've just yeah. been allowing people just to climb up it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, there's Which nowhere is... that the sarcophagi go where the mummies aren't able to climb over. Yeah. But we have That's one right here on not attacking us. I don't think we have. That, my point being, we have one here, and we can push them like here, and just stack them on top of each other. But that's not gonna like. I mean, they still have the steps that they can walk up, so it doesn't really matter. 
whatever. Fine. Doesn't work. Well, now we can block a staircase with them. Yeah, but I'd much rather put traps on the staircase. Yeah. That we also have to be able to get over. Yeah, but as if we know where they are. Again, climbing at five feet. Point them out to you. Climbing five feet is easier for some than it is for others. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, no. yeah, sure. It's Just hardest saying. for the mummies, though. That's the point. Mm. Yeah, they have less movement than all of us. <laughs> <It is though. laughs> well, Do you know how tall five feet is when you're only like three feet tall? Yes, but I also know that mechanically through the game. <laughs> You can climb, but using 10 feet of movement. Mm -hmm. Anywho. And that's yeah. most of my movement. That's half of my movement. <laughs> but it is slightly less of it than it is compared to the movement. We spent a lot of time talking about this. Yes, I know. Yeah. I don't... Can we just fast forward? Just to talk about it tomorrow. Come on. Yeah. That's nope. up to you guys. Right. I'd like to fast forward until I can sleep. I'd like to fast forward so I can all say. Anyone else want to sure. do anything today? Uh, let me check to see some things. Probably not, though. <laughs> no. I'm good. Okay. So aid goes away. Yep. Everything goes away. It's, you know, the next day. Unless it lasts 24 hours or something. No. Uh, no. Elvis falls 15 feet because he forgot he was flying. It is the 18th of flame rule today. You guys have... Camped out, I presume, at the entrance of this uh, tomb. And you have not been molested in the middle of the night by anything. And uh, looking outside, it looks like the weather is kind of normalizing. Before I memorize my spells again, is does you, anyone think there's something else that I could use be it beyond the uh, remove curse? Uh, sacred guardians, maybe. Since we're probably we're all going to be back here. Yeah. That sounds great. Right, I have that. Them make them even more credible. Isn't Elvis still cursed? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We need to uncurse. Is it worth it for? I guess if you already know. Yeah, if you know that. Yeah. <coughs> All right, right now I have a curse <coughs> spirit guardian. Other than that, I could probably use a. Uh... We're not. Good. We're not doing it today, though. You're oh, already cursing me today, and then you're sleeping tomorrow. Okay. Because if you've already waited a day, there's... Then I'm going to do that and dispel magic. Remove curse and dispel magic. And the rest will be probably be the same. Or will, will be the same. Okay, uh, what are you removing? I'm removing the curse on Elvis. Yeah, I mean, like, what are you swapping out? What spell are you going to remove? I'm swapping out Spirit Guardian for remove, uh, Dispel Magic. Okay. Cool. So, at the top of the morning, Nigel uh, prays for his spells and lays hands on Sneaky Elvis Pete. And you are cured of your affliction. Oh, I'll have to make a note so I can get it. Clark. Making it somewhere to get a tattoo of a scarab. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's unfortunate that left, you know? If only you could have just kept that. If only. I tried to fight them whilst I was cursed. Perhaps so if we it. survive this, we can all get matching tattoos of scarabs <laughs> when we get back to town. Cut to the Starship Trooper scene. Yeah! <laughs> I'll do it. I will fund tattoos for all of you. I'm you. doing my part. <laughs> I prefer not to have a tattoo, but you know. Well, we did temporary. all the work we can do this day. Wait till the next day. Uh, Nigel, you uh, before you we say do something? that, could you memorize, uh, remove, uh, dispel magic to assist me in trying to remove the barrier? Myself? Or at least some of the runes. Yes. Uh, I do not know dispel magic, and I cannot help you there. You do not. I thought you someone did. else knew it, didn't they? Uh, Fabio? No. 
Bobby would know some weird spells, so. Is it actually you know just me? Dispel what magic. Dispel magic. No, I don't. Huh. I didn't know I was the only one who had that. I remember someone else offering to, like, By the way, everyone remove rations. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and you should have done it for yesterday as well. Yep. Yeah, that's, yeah, sure yeah that. that's today and yesterday for. Yeah. Yep. And, and water. Uh, yeah. Only one water, though, right? Mm, no. It's yes. double water and it's one ration a day. Even if you're inside? Uh, does this still count as suffering out in the desert? Mm. Or does it count as indoors? Fine. If you sp you spent all day in here, you can use one water. There's no in so, AC inside this temple. Use two water skins and two rations. Mm -hmm. I only get one water skin no matter what, so it doesn't matter for me. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Clark, can you still accompany me just in case this triggers something? Triggered. What am I accompanying you on? To try to dispel the barrier. Uh, I mean, I can't dispel it, but I can. I, I can dispel. I could possibly dispel it. I will attempt to. But so I would like. You may you may activate it on accident, but. Yes, that is the possibility. Why are we trying to? Well, everything tells us that disarming that is impossible. I mean, uh, we, we've already discussed the plan, and I mean, do we want to change that to try to dispel it and then run with the plan? Well, he's already memorized it, so that means another day we spend in this place. I mean, we're gonna we were going to spend another day, day anyway. anyways. Yeah. I mean, I think ha I think having Dispel Magic would be intelligent. Either way. Yes, it can disrupt the actions of wizards. Let me double check that, actually. I think we can Dispel effects. Yeah, but if they're casting a spell, it can occasionally dis uh, or well, I guess that would that would be what counter spell does, but I'm not yeah, sure. You can't counter a spell, but if they create a spell that's like concentration, that is an effect that lasts, you can dispel that. Yeah. Fast forward another day, another ration, another drink. So, do I keep uh, dispel magic, or do I just do remove curse and spirit guardian, which will be able to harm them if they come too close to me? I believe you should do remove curse just in case I'm punched by money. All right. Because we can never account for the fact that we will not get hit. It is very likely that that will happen. Yep. Very likely. All right. Then I will change out remove uh, dispel magic for remove curse and spirit guardian. Okay. So if All no right. one wants to do anything today. Um, then you're going to sit around for another day, just shooting the shit, and yeah, flip another day. It's um, the 19th of flame, yes? Uh, I was going to say, I just want to, I do want to use Fabio, if I can, to read through that book about King Andrari's and see if there is, like, any hint about Sorry. what sorts of magic you might um. use. Why, why you, old Zomboy has it. Why, oh, does he? No, he does. I have it. I have it. I have it. Why are you using Fabio to read it, though? I, I, I read it. I've I read mean, it. do you have it all memorized word for word? Because, I mean, no, I want to, like, need... read into the words. I have all yes. freaking day. I can read it for you. Okay, then if you want to read it for me. Yeah, it's because Fabio doing it costs him spells. <clears throat> I, it doesn't matter. We're not using any spells ritual. today, anyways. Yeah. We're not using any spells today, so... I'll read you the whole book again. I can do it through ritual, too. Yeah, that's right. I'll read you the whole book. Okay. I mean, I want, yeah, I want to, like, piece by piece, like, tear through, like, parts about his magical rituals or whatever. We literally have. And see what? if there's anything, like, any hints. We have 72 hours to read this book several times. <laughs> Warrior! <clears throat> Okay. You want me to like roll an arc so check to see if it's, I can deduce it's the it. 19th of flame rule and for today you guys can do just one ration and one water and then if you go um, in the desert we'll make sure to just take another water. Okay. 
not going to go into the desert right now, anyways. So, um, who wants to cast invisibility? On you? Yeah, yeah um, I'm the sacrificial lamb. Yeah, okay, right. Um, real quick, do you want to take a break before we uh, get into yeah. this? Yeah, I really do. Um, take a quick break and then come back in three to five minutes. Bye bye. Yeah. yeah.